I just tested the brand new Bolt V2 and it makes every other AI coding tool obsolete. What exactly does this mean? No more error loops so you don't have to worry about you continually just getting errors and nothing ever getting done. No more of your prompts just leading to dead ends where you tell it to change something and it changes everything but the thing that you told it to change. And also this ends you getting frustrated with your vibe coding tool and eventually giving up because this thing is actually smart. It builds out projects a thousand times faster than Bolt version one and finally gives you access to the same AI coding agents that Fortune 500 companies are using in order to build out the tools that you know and love. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly why Bolt version two is on a completely different level than every other AI coding tool because I'm gonna be using both it and Lovable side by side to see which one actually does a better job. On top of that, I'm also going to give you three other use cases that you can use this tool for at the end of this video. Okay, so in order to actually prove to you how strong Bolt version 2 is, we're going to give both this and Lovable the same exact prompt and we're going to see which one actually does a better job and we're going to see which one actually gets us right. So as we can see right here, this is the prompt that we're using. Build me a GLP-1 shot tracking app with a clean mobile friendly UI. The app should let users log their GLP-1 injections, Ozempic, Wagovi, Majaro, and receive updates for their next shot. This goes through all the core features over here. It goes through all the different things that it should have in terms of design and UX and the goal here. But in addition to that, guess what we can do on Bolt? We can actually come over here. We could click on this and we can click on enhance prompt right here. Or if you had things that you wanted to upload in here, for example, a file, or if you had Figma files or GitHub, you could connect that right here. And we're going to come over here and click on enhance prompt. And what this is going to do is rewrite this prompt in order to make it even better. Now, if we come over to Lovable, you're going to see that it doesn't actually have that option. Now, I don't want to cheat by giving Bolt a completely different prompt. So we're actually going to take this improved prompt from Bolt over here, and we're also going to give it to Lovable to see which one of these actually builds this out in a better way. And we can see that this just made this prompt way bigger. So we're going to copy this over here. We're going to bring this over to Lovable. We're going to put this in here, and we are going to give this to Bolt right here. Now, one thing that I do want to call out in terms of actually using this is this plan right here. You want to make sure that you are using plan down here if you're just chatting with Bolt and you don't actually want it to make any changes to your project or to something that you're making. If you're just talking through things, turn that on so that it's not actually going through and building things out. Now, in addition to that, if we come over to Lovable, you are going to see something similar. They also have a chat feature right here. We can see that they have edit right here. This also has a select right here. Basically the same exact thing. And as we can see, this went through, it created the plan, and now it's going to go through and it's going to build all of this out. Lovable is also doing the same thing, except it's a little bit slower here. And we could see that the first version features and the plan is nowhere near as comprehensive as what Bolt gave us, which kind of proves that Bolt version two is really scalable and allows you to build out way more complex things than most other vibe coding tools because of this planning phase right here and how it does such a good job at this. And this is one of the things that really reduces the error rate when it comes to using something like Bolt. As we could see with Lovable, this just didn't give us anywhere near as big of a plan, as long of a plan, and then what ends up actually happening is we don't get as good of a result from tools like this. In addition to that, on Bolt, another thing that you're going to notice is if you come up over here into settings, you'll be able to see the analytics right here. You'll be able to see authentication. You can very easily integrate this with Stripe or Bolt database if you wanted to, and you could see all the different knowledge, server functions, and secret API keys that you can actually add in here and come into all project settings right here too. Again, this is a huge upgrade with Bolt V2, it allows you to very easily set up authentication, authorization, databases, Stripe, all of that directly from in here, and the agent will actually do it for you instead of you having to go back and forth trying to figure out all these different tools, all these different add-ons, and how they actually play together. Because to be completely honest with you, what that typically leads to is you getting confused or just massive error loops when you're trying to vibe code a tool. Now again, we could see that both of these are going through these right now, but it looks like Bolt is actually working through this a lot quicker and it's kind of cool 
cool to be able to see where it actually is in the plan because then you can go off on other tabs and do other things. And another thing that I did want to call out with Bolt is that Bolt version 2 runs on enterprise infrastructure, aka Netlify and Supervase, which is the same exact stack that powers tools like Uber, Twilio, Stripe, and so many other big enterprise tools that you probably use. Okay, now in just a second, we're gonna go through and actually test which of these actually built the right tool that I wanted and that actually works, but we could see here that Bolt has gone through and has completed the plan. And I wanna show you what Bolt version two then goes off and does. We could see here, perfect, let me verify the type checking to ensure everything is working correctly. So what did this do? This is now actually going through and this is making sure that everything is actually passing and everything is actually working correctly, making sure that all the files are in place, making sure that everything is deployed correctly, and then it's going to give me the preview here, which is great, because listen, I don't have time to waste, and you probably don't either if you're trying to use this tool, because you're not an expert at coding, right? You're somebody that's trying to vibe code, and you're just trying to tell it what you want and have this go off and do it, so you could spend your life doing other things. Well, guess what? If we compare that to something like Lovable, we could see that this went through, it implemented things, it gives us design highlights, but then it tells us what could be next? And then what does it do? It actually gives us this tool here and we have to go through and test it. Again, today, October, 2025, this is an old way of doing things. And this just isn't what you would expect from a vibe coding tool that can actually go through and build your app for you. Because now what do we have to do? We have to actually test this. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna publish this lovable website. And then what I wanna do is actually go through and test it. And more likely than not, what we're gonna find is a bunch of different errors because it's not doing what Bolt is doing, which is actually going through and testing everything for us. Okay, so let's actually come over here and we could sign up for this. We're gonna publish this and we're gonna see what this actually looks like. So we just come over here, say publish this application, and then this is gonna go through and actually publish this for you. And again, if you wanted to, you could buy a custom domain or add your own custom domain if you chose to use a custom domain with Bolt V2. And we can see that this is now done right here. Okay, so. We're gonna click over into this now that this is actually published. And we can see what this looks like. So we're gonna come over here and we're going to sign up. I am just gonna sign up with a random email that I have so that we can actually test this. We're gonna create the account over here. This is gonna say great. We can actually set up our profile. I'm gonna call this Rob. I'm gonna say that I'm on Ozempic. I'm gonna say that my dosage is 0.5. Injection schedule, I'm gonna put every five days. Start date, correctly identified today, great. Okay, so from here, we could do a few things. We could see that this is all built out, log new injection. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna log this. Uh, I'm gonna put my weight, I'm gonna put feels good, side effects, I'm gonna put none, great. And we'll actually be able to log this shot right here. So now that this is logged, we'll actually be able to see this calendar view right here. We'll be able to see when we should actually do our shots and we'll be able to see all of our different stats right here. And this is gonna be dynamic and this is going to change over time. Now again, if we come over into Bolt and we click on this, we will be able to see all project settings from right here. We could see all the domains, we could see the analytics for all of this in terms of usage and things like that. We could see the database right here and see everything that's actually added in here. We could see that authentication can be set up right here. We could see all the different server functions, secrets, user management. We could do all of that from right here, which is pretty awesome and pretty cool. Now, if we come over into what Lovable built right here and we refresh this, there's a few weird things about this. First and foremost, we can't actually like log in or log out, which is kind of weird. It looks like it's just one thing. Um, and if we click on like log first injection, we could come over here, we could choose where we're actually going to be logging this. We could see that this actually doesn't give us as much as the other one because it's kind of stuck instead of us being able to actually just put what we want. Notes, I'm gonna put none, and then we could save the injection here. Okay, so we could see that this is actually logging things, but after I actually updated this, this didn't go through and actually update this. We could see this calendar where we could actually log things out, but again, this doesn't really give us a lot of options in order to do anything here. And if we come over into analytics, we can also, we can see this over here. Now, 
again, if we come back over here into Lovable and we come over into the files, there's not actually anywhere for us to be able to manage everything inside of this app. So we're gonna have to actually go through and build all of that out. So we can't log in, we can't log out. There's no way for us to be able to manage our database or anything like that, which again, is just kind of confusing when you think about building out an app and having it be fully functional all from one place. And this is exactly why I think Bolt V2 is a massive upgrade. We just one shot at this app. We can log in, we can log out. We have all the database, we have all the functionality, all straight inside of these project settings where with Lovable, we now have a bunch of changes we have to go make because guess what? We can't log in, we can't log out. We can't access the database. We can't see any of this stuff. So we're gonna have to go through and try to build all of this out in order to get a functioning app where with Bolt V2, we got the functioning app literally from the first prompt. In addition to that, as I'm sure you could tell right here, if we wanted to actually come through and change things, Bolt makes it incredibly easy because we can see all the things that are actually updated and we can see how everything actually plays together nicely, where with Lovable, we're gonna run into an error loop if we try to go in and adjust or change them. Now, before I share with you the three use cases that I think Bolt version two is perfect for, I wanted to remind you that if you're sick and tired of wasting your time with five coding tools that don't actually deliver on what they promise, I would strongly suggest you go to the pinned comment below and register for Bolt V2 today because very quickly, you're gonna be able to see for yourself why this is the number one vibe coding tool in 2025. Now use case number one, I would strongly suggest using this for is if you're a creator or if you're an entrepreneur, because this is going to allow you to validate your ideas way faster. The old way of doing things is that you would outsource it or hire a developer in-house and then get them to build you out an MVP, but you don't have to do that anymore because Bolt version two is capable of completely building out anything that you want so long as you give it a prompt. Use case number two is going to be using this for agencies and freelancers. You could use this not only to complete your work, but you could also use this in order to get leads way easier. Instead of you approaching somebody and telling them, hey, we could fix your website, or hey, we could build you out this app, you can actually build it out, show it to them, and then say, hey, we can implement this for you, it's already done, and this makes your sales process way easier, and it helps lighten up your workload. And then use case number three is actually gonna be using this inside of a company in order to get the things that you want built. I'm sure you've had the experience before that you have to then work with the design team, and then you get told that the dev team has too much on their plate, and they can't actually build out the features that you want to see today. Well, guess what? With Bolt version two, it gives you the power in your own hands and you can just create these things and get them done without asking for permission. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through seven other AI tools that I personally can't live without. I'll see you over there.